In this video, I'm going to be going through arithmetic series and just showing you a really simple, basic, almost a definition level problem. Um, so the purpose of this video is not necessarily to help you solving uh, big, big problems in regards to arithmetic series. Think of this just as a definition with an example. Uh, what is an arithmetic series? Uh, well, what it is, it's the sum of a set of number of terms of an arithmetic sequence. I heard myself read that, and that sounds a little crazy. But basically what I'm saying is a series, right, uh, is, I'm sorry, an arithmetic series is when I take an arithmetic sequence, right, let's say I took five terms, and I sum them all together. Well, that would then be called a related series, okay? Uh, a sequence is a list of numbers. A series is a single number because I'm adding them together. Okay, let me show you more of what I'm talking about. So suppose we have the sequence below. Okay, negative 3, 5, 13, etc. Well, here's the problem I'm, I would ask you. I would say calculate the related series of the first seven terms of the sequence. Well, first we need to know what the first seven terms are, right? So, and what a series is, is we're going to be adding those together. So first I need to find the, the first seven terms. All right, so <coughs> since I know the sequence is arithmetic, I know it's going, it's moving forward by addition or subtraction. So between negative 3 to 5, I'm adding 8. Same thing here. So to get to the next term, I'm going to go ahead and add 8 to 13. I get 21. Add 8 again, 29. Add 8 again, 37. And one more time, 45. All right, so what I'm going to do in a series is I'm going to take these first seven terms and I'm going to sum them together. Right? So I'm going to take these first seven terms and I'm going to add them together. And I get 147. So, if I were to ask you to calculate the related series of the first seven terms of this sequence, and I gave you this sequence, your solution after you did all the work would be 147. So, it's a single number, okay, and a lot of kids get confused by that because they're used to the idea of a sequence being a whole big list of numbers, which is why we're not asking for a sequence, we're asking for a series, which is a bunch of those things added together. Alright, I hope this helps.